So you probably heard the news. Yesterday, Google announced the date of when Universal Analytics, which is also known as the older version of GA, will stop working. On July 1st, 2023, Universal Analytics will stop collecting data. And then after six more months, it will start working completely. Probably 90% of posts in my social feeds were about this news. So basically right now you have 15 months to come up with some solution. Some people said that they are looking for some other alternatives, but the main alternative for you is to switch to Google Analytics 4. Now I know this is still not a perfect solution. There are still some things missing, but Google Analytics 4 has greatly improved in the last 12 months. Just this week alone, we got a bunch of minor improvements that solved major problems that were pain in the ass. I have to admit, the migration will not be easy. Google Analytics 4 is completely different if we compare that to the Universal Analytics. The interface is different, the implementation is different, data model is different, so there's a lot to unpack here. Luckily, I've got you covered. Introducing my latest paid course, which is about Google Analytics 4. Usually, Google Analytics 4 courses focus on features and interface, but my course is not a regular course. In it, I will focus not only on features and interface, but I will also explain other two very important topics where many marketers and analysts struggle. I will show you how to plan your setup, how to decide what is important to track, and also I will show you later what to do with that data, how to get insights out of your data that you have collected in your GA4 property. I will show you the correct setup, structure, and many other things. I have to admit that this will be a pretty long course, but there are just so many things to learn in Google Analytics 4 that I could not make it any shorter. Right now, I expect that this course will be probably around 15 hours. Currently, I have recorded several first modules. Next week, I will release two another modules, and then every week I will release a new module. The course will be completed in the second half of April, but you can enroll now with a pre-sale discount and already access the first five modules. The course is highly practical and I have already received first feedback from my students and they are really enjoying it. So if you have been hesitating to learn Google Analytics 4, now it's time to start learning it. And the sooner you do that, the more data you will have when Universal Analytics gets completely shut down. If you have been working with Universal Analytics for a while and now you're considering migration, then you will love the last module of this course where I will explain step by step how to properly migrate from GA3 to GA4. So if you want to learn more about this course, then I will post a link to it below the video for you to learn more. Take a look at the topics that I will explain and see if this course matches your needs. All right, so that's it for this video and I will see you next week in this very same channel of Analytics Mania.